Hey everyone, my name is Root and we're here. This is going to be round one of the MPL playoffs and we're up against Choice CJ and I know we just played him a few weeks ago, but this is a very, very different matchup. So first and foremost, he dropped his Infernate and we have his Infernate now. As soon as he dropped it, I uh, dropped Darmanitan as soon as I possibly could and I and I scooped it up and now he has a Koku Kaluchikor and uh, in all honesty, I think this matchup is not great for me. I'm I think my team that I'm that I built for this one is pretty not great, but I think it doesn't mean that we can't still win this. I just think that it's going to be a really uphill battle, and I really want to see what he brings. Okay, we do see the Latios, or sorry, the Latias, uh, Piloswine, Coco Lucha, Alolan Muck, and the Blastoise. So right off the bat, no Bronzong, no Bronzong blows my mind. That absolutely blows my mind. Neither Steel type, neither. Bronzong, nor Empoleon. No Rapidash, which I did kind of expect. But, yeah, no, that truly, truly blows my mind. No Gliscor is pretty, um, is pretty huge. Wow, yeah, I was very, very concerned about the Bronzong. I was incredibly concerned about the Bronzong. I was incredibly concerned about the Bronzong. Um, part of me is thinking that I could just lead off with the Galvantula. But the Infernape also seems like a good lead here. Um, I don't know what I want to do here. I don't know at all. I'm going to lead off with my Infernape. Although Galvantula might truly be better. The only way that uh, leading Galvantula really hurts me is if he leads off with a Pile of Swine. Um, I really think I'm going to need Galvantula for the later game, yeah. I'm going to lead off with the Infernape, and I think I have pivots into most things that he's trying to do in this matchup, but yeah, I'm truly, truly blown away. I cannot overstate how big of a, a problem Bronzong was for my matchup here. Like, Bronzong truly stopped, like, half my team, but I don't know. I don't know. This is going to put us in a very interesting position, and... Oh my god, I don't know. Like, literally, the only reason that I brought Primarina was for that matchup. Otherwise, um, I can't remember, I can't quite remember what my sixth slot was, but I felt like I had to, oh, I, the Tauros, I left Tauros behind because I was so afraid of that Bronzong. But does lead off with the Coco. Now, um, I'm pretty obviously Scarfed in the situation. Um, Scarfed in front of me makes the most sense for this matchup, but I'd be very curious as to whether or not he's Scarfed. Regardless, I don't see... Oh, I didn't take... A, I'm going to take a screenshot of the bottom screen right now. I don't really see um, Infernape as the most valuable Mon in this matchup here. Um, I would need it for the Alola Muck. That would be the biggest thing. But I think I can pretty freely U-turn here. I'm going to. I'm going to. I need to preserve my Dawn fan, which is kind of unfortunate. I need to, I need my Dawn fan for that. Um. For that. Halucha matchup in particular, but also my Megalodios is built for that Halucha matchup as well. It is a pretty much max defense Megalodios with a uh, Dragon Dance as well, so it can potentially uh, end game sweep. But if it has to, it can take on the Halucha. My um, Scizor is also more or less max, uh, defense, so we do get a, we do go first and get the U-turn off, and I would be surprised if he didn't go for his own U-turn here, it honestly makes me want to go into, it honestly makes me want to go into my Scizor here, yeah, Scizor seems like a decent play all around. I could not imagine him going for a Thunderbolt or anything like that. Does go for a Thunderbolt. That is pretty wild to me. Uh, it does do a whole lot of damage, but I don't think I mind too much. So, I mean, obviously, I do lose a pretty substantial check to that Halucha, but this was ne ultimately never going to be the best check to the Halucha anyway. It was really meant to get, like, one bullet punch off on something. And if this is the one bullet punch that this gets off, I don't think I would mind that too, too much. Although I am very curious if I can tell anything off of that damage. 
because that brought me down. I'm going to break out the calculator for this one. Um, 177 down to 30 or so because I did get some back from, did 147 to me. Um, I think that's Zap Plate. No, I think that's, I think that's no boosting item. Maybe I missed an item or somewhere, but that should be, that should be no boosting item. Yeah, I think. But, uh, regardless, a bullet punch is going to do a very decent amount of damage, and then that would allow in my, my, um, that would allow in my Infernape. So, I think I can bullet punch here. Actually, I do also want to see Infernape U-Turn doing about 20-ish percent. Yeah, this is pretty much no bulk, uh, Coco here. But yeah, that will allow me to get off the bullet punch, and this could be Z-Move. Yeah, Z-Move makes a lot of sense to me. Z-Move makes a lot of sense to me. And we take that. Oof, we were max, we were pretty much max defense. So we actually take that. Would he switch out here? He could go into the Blastoise. Blastoise would be relatively free for him. I think we kind of have to make a big prediction here. Because I don't think he would want to just let his Coco go down this early. Especially because by letting his Coco go down this early, it would force in the Halucha really er way earlier than I think he would want. So yeah, I think I have to click U-turn here. Unless he has U-turn himself, in which case this whole thing was moot anyway. But also, yeah, I it is reasonably possible that this thing is a um, this is a timid Brave Bird. That's why it did uh, so little. That's a possibility. But yeah, I definitely did not bring my Scizor to the last matchup. Potentially, uh, yeah, probably because Inferni had such a good matchup for, uh, for me uh, in the long run. And this time he does have the Rapidash. He picked up the Rapidash after dropping the Inferni. And it just, I don't think, had the best matchup for me at base 105 speed. I had a lot that could potentially deal with it. Um, But I was confident, yeah, I was confident that I wouldn't come in this matchup. Which is why I ran next to no speed on my Galvantula. Because... Um, even if he did bring the Rapidash, Rapidash did not have any real reason to run speed. So it does go into the Blastoise. This is kind of what I expected. I thought either the Blastoise... Yeah, no, Blastoise made the most sense. But I did uh, expect this interaction, and I do get to go out into my Galvantula. Galvantula will allow me to get a... Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to go into Galvantula. Even though it's going to be a super duper um, obvious play here. I think Galvantula would would allow me to energy ball here. Um, energy ball from a Galvantula should do half if it's just max HP EVLA. But what am I doing to a Blastoise as well? Also, I don't think I have to worry too much because Blastoise is not going to. Blastoise is not going to. Uh, KO me. I, I don't think like ever. Yeah, it shouldn't. I'm gonna click Energy Ball here. He might not expect the Energy Ball. Maybe I should have packed Z Energy Ball for this matchup. I don't know. I think regardless, I get this energy ball off, hopefully on the pilot's line. He might go into the Galolan Muck, honestly. If he does go into the Galolan Muck, I'm going to try to gauge damage as best as I can. And if I can Z Thunder in terrain, then that would be pretty fantastic for me, I think. Um, Muck. I'm super curious now. If he's like... Trip, I don't know what that is. That's, that is the Muck. So he expected me to energy ball there. I do like 10%. Which might just mean Assault Vest here. Okay, not quite Assault Vest. So... Yeah, that's actually just max HP, so it could be max defense. Um, this will be the last turn of... Um... Actually, it does have to be a little bit. 
especially invested. I don't know. Regardless, if I do have Electrium Z in terrain, that should actually KO here. Maybe this is the moment to pop it? I don't see any better moment to pop it. I'm gonna do it. Z Thunder in terrain? Let's, let's go for it. He might just expect to take any move that I would want to go for here. But, um, yeah, because just regular Thunder, even in terrain, even in terrain, I mean, it does a lot. But if, he, if he's Figgy Berry and he expects to get most of that HP back, then he might just stay in here and try to eat a Thunder here. I don't know. I honestly have no idea what, what he wants to go for here. If he is max special defense, I do get off the Z Thunder. Um, then I have a very good chance to KO here. If he's max special defense, then I have a, well, not a very good chance, but I have a very, but I have an okay chance to KO here. But this will be, this will be, I really need this KO. I think I need this KO. I think I need this KO. Oof. Okay, okay. That's not the best situation for me. That's definitely not the best situation for me. But I think I can just freely Volt Switch now. And now that there's no terrain, this Volt Switch is going to do next to nothing. He can very freely recycle here. He can very freely recycle here. So if he was max special... Well, I think he has to be max special defense now. But uh, if he's just max special defense, then I think I had a chance to KO. But yeah, obviously it didn't work out for me. I think I'm gonna, just going to click Volt Switch here. And I think he has to click Recycle here. I think he has to click Recycle here. So does that allow in anything that I would want in right now? I can try to set up a Dragon Dance with Mega Latios. If Mega Latios is in here and he gets to and I get to plus one attack. Yeah, Earthquake should KO. Maybe this is the moment for that. Although then I have to deal with the, then I have to deal with the Blastoise. His own Latios is going to be a threat to me, I think. I'm going to go into, I'm going to go for it. You know what, we're, we're going to go for it. He is forced to recycle. He can knock me off, but getting a Dragon Dance off is going to be the biggest thing for me in this situation. I think just Mega Evolving and getting off the Dragon Dance is going to be my best play here. This is a very stressful match. An incredibly stressful match. But he should be in plus one Earthquake range. If he switches out, maybe I get to plus two? I don't know. Maybe this is never a good play because of the Pile of Swine. Yeah, no, maybe this is a huge mistake. Maybe this is a huge, huge mistake. But I, I don't think I had any better play, realistically. I think he has too much fat in the back. But honestly, this is this is probably my best the best chance I'm ever gonna get to I was just checking out Mega Blastoise. Um Calcs. I should be a 2-hit KO at plus 1, given the prior damage, and if he's just max HP. Um, it does look like he stays in. And he might just knock off here. He might click Curse. Curse would be pretty bad. But even if he does click Curse, I think as long as I can prevent him from... Uh, recycling again? He does recycle. Okay. So that, so that lets me get to plus two, I think. That's gonna let me get to plus two. And then, plus two Earthquake should 
always do it, I think. Alolan Mach. Um, if I am at plus two, and he's max- oh, he's at least max HP. But he's very likely max special defense. There's the second Dragon Dance. I've, I probably should have taken that opportunity and just clicked, um, Dragon Dance, but we will get to see- Oh, okay. That is significantly less damage than I would have expected him to do. But now I can Earthquake, he almost certainly doesn't have Shadow Sneak, so I think I'm okay there. But, um, he, he has to go into Pylos one, I think. He has to go into Pylos one, I think. And he has to hope that he doesn't get flinched by Zen, by two Zen Headbutts. Pylos one. And Max... Uh, Zen Headbutt is doing right around 50% if it's just max HP Eviolite. It could be max defense for all I know. But, regardless, yeah, I think I'm okay in this interaction. I want to I wanna not stress out about this interaction. Um, I think I'm going I'm gonna to pick up AKO here, and I think I'm going to set myself up decently well for my Galvantula later in the game, and I'm going to set myself up decently well for getting a bunch of damage off on whatever he wants to bring in next. So I'm going to try to not stress out this interaction too, too much, even though... This is almost definitely too early for Megalodios to truly, truly sweep, but if I can just get a couple things here to kind of go my way. Okay, if he... Oh, and I don't have the Earthquake against Coco. does go into this thing. So I could potentially flinch him off of the Icicle Crash. Actually, I, I should take an Icicle Crash. So if he does want to Icicle Crash, then he's super risking a flinch here. He does go for the Icicle Crash, so I will take it anyway, but I don't take Icicle Crash into... Yeah, it does get the Icicle Crash off. Um, I don't take Icicle Crash into Ice Shard. So, uh, this is probably going to be it for me. This is probably going to be it for me. But getting that damage off is important. It will allow in my... It will allow in my... Primarina. Primarina gets a Scald off. Oh no, I, can I Moon Blast here? Can, am I allowed to Moon Blast here? Oh, I don't have the correct Primarina in, uh, imported. Let me take care of that real quick. I think this damage means that... Uh, I should not be able to take an Ice Shard. But he could... He could risk it. He could go for an, another Icicle Crash and risk the flinch here. Pile of swine. He does risk it. He risks a crit or a flinch. Wow. No. No. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. So now I don't even have to go into into Primarina. This this allows me to go into Scizor. This allows me to go into Scizor. And he brings in Coco. He can't bring in Coco because 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 I can. Excuse me. He can't bring in Coco because. Coco would risk. Coco is potentially uh, in range of another bullet punch, or maybe not. It's it's probably healthy enough to take one more bullet punch. But regardless, another bullet punch is going to take it down. So he could go into Coco, set up the terrain, let me take that out, and go for a game with Halucha. But then Donfan, Donfan stops Halucha in every way, I think. Um, so let me see here. I'm super curious how much I can tell about this, uh, pile of swine. Latios at plus two. Okay, that's about right for just max HP Eviolite. Okay. Because, yeah, plus two Megalodios has a 12.9% chance 
to um to two KO a pile of swine, and that's assuming just uh, max HP EV light. So it could be max special defense. It could be a uh, pretty offensive, which I think it might honestly be because I still did a a whole bunch of damage to me. So I guess we'll have to see there, but this is going to. It might honestly force in the Blastoise. It might honestly force in the Blastoise. Coco, if Coco brings it in, that would be an absolute sack. Um, could bring in the Latios, definitely, but Latios is gonna take at least a chunk, and then Lati and then that would open up my that would probably open up my Infernape a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking through what he would want to do here. Latios would take a chunk. Coco would be a sack to get in Halucha. Blastoise makes sense, but Blastoise would allow me to pivot around a little bit. Um. Yeah, at this point, if the Blastoise comes in, I think I go into Primarina. I think I just go into Primarina here. Actually, how much can I tell off of this Blastoise? I don't even remember what I hit this Blastoise with earlier in the match. Oh, probably just a U-turn, right? I think that's right. Um, but it's not Mega yet, so let's see. Could this Blastoise be no investment? Scizor. U-turn? Huh. Huh. That might be no investment Blastoise. No bulk Blastoise. So yeah, I honestly think that I saved this just for the Tapu Koko. Just as a failsafe against the Koko. But I think this allows in my... I think this allows in my Primarina. And I, I, I have to give up my Primarina as a kind of che as a soft check to the... To the Coco, because well, I don't necessarily need to check to the Coco anymore because I have the Dawn Fan, I have the Scizor, I have things to kind of deal with the Coco. But this thing is Wakan Berry, just for, uh, just for the sake of whatever. So he does bring me down to 150, so that's 36 points of damage. That's 36 points of damage with a Hydro Pump. And now he honestly doesn't have much of a switch into Moonblast anymore. He has to give this thing up to me, or else something's going to switch into a Moonblast and not be able to take it that well. Um, Hydro Pump doing... Hydro Pump should have done a lot... So it's so this is no special attack investment? Is that right? Because I did 36. Yeah, that looks like no special attack investment at all. So I'm very confused about this Blastoise, but I guess we'll have to find out whatever this Blastoise is. But yeah, 35 points of damage. Yeah, 36 is a potential roll from, from a completely no investment Bla uh, Mega Blastoise. But Moonblast is a thousand percent of 2 KO. Moonblast every day of the week is a 2 KO. We avoid... Alright, that's unfortunate, but... Again, um... That was a crit. I don't... <laughs> Alright. I don't even know what to say anymore. But he, he he can't switch into a Moonblast anymore. Um, This thing is still healthy enough even to take on the Coco. I think it's healthy enough. It, should, it might be healthy enough to take on even a... Even a... Um... Even a... Halucha, potentially? It can take one hit from a Halucha. I think. I'd have to check on that, but um, I believe just max HP. Oh no, maybe, maybe I ran those caps from full and, and it doesn't actually make a difference. I almost made this thing max defense. I almost made this thing max defense. Uh, Halucha. I think he has to go into. He might have to go into Coco here. And if he does go into Coco, then I stay in because I have a Conberry. I don't think he can afford to, to risk anything with Ladio, with Latias. And, unless the Latias has Psy Shock, which is a huge maybe. That's a huge, huge maybe. Oh, wait, no. 
Even acrobatics. I might take an acrobatics. Maybe. Maybe I take an acrobatics. A full a full power acrobatics. But regardless, he has to bring in something now. And whatever he brings in now... Whatever he brings in now is going to get probably KO'd by Moonblast, I think. Latia... Wait, no. Latias. What am I looking at with Latias? Let's assume a combine Latias, right? With Psy Shock, even, I even take a max... A max special attack Psy Shock here. I even take a max special attack Psy Shock here. So I'm actually going to be able to take this out as well because of the Wakan Berry here. Although, do I need... Do I need this for the... Do I need this for the... Do I need this for the... Latios? What's my best answer to Latias? Scizor plus Infarnate plus, uh, plus, um, Galvantula can take out the Latias. Maybe I have enough HP investment into my Galvantula to take out the Latias with Bug Buzz, but I don't know. Or no, I don't have Bug Buzz. I have HP Ice. Oof, that's pretty bad. Yeah, no, that was a game time decision because of the Glide score. Regardless, I'm gonna take a hit. I'm gonna... I'm going to take a hit. I'm going to... Goes for the Dazzling Gleam. So maybe he's expecting me to be with Conberry. But regardless, it, it, it doesn't particularly matter. Maybe he's expecting me to switch out here? I don't know. Oh, Don Fan. Don Fan. That, may, that checks out. That super duper checks out. But now, with this, Pre with this Pre-Marine in right now, it forces the Halucha to come in. Or no, because he can bring just bring in Latias. But no, he might run out of... He might run out of turns. He might just run out of turns with with um, electric terrain if I play this correctly. So I don't know. I don't know. It depends on a lot. It depends on a lot here. If he brings in the Latias, right? If he brings in the Latias, then I stand in Moonblast. He takes me out. I go into Infernape, you turn out, give up the Scizor. Bring in the bring in the Infernape, you turn out into the Dawn Fan probably, and then and then uh Ice Shard, and I think that should do it, potentially, depending on how defensive it is. Um and if he goes into the Halucha, I stay in. Uh he can't sword dance. He has to take me out, and then that allows in my that allows in my my Dawn fan, and I can try, attempt to play rough it. I really hope, I hope and pray that I don't miss a play rough. And that would potentially be the worst way to lose this matchup. But, um, hitting a play rough, I believe, it's going to depend a lot on what his investment is like, but, two play rough should just about do it, and... Um, or at least two play roughs into an ice shard, I think. I would hope. Um, Halucha. Oh, you terrain sweeper. Give him the plus one defense. Uh, goes for a bulk up. That's super interesting. So maybe it would have been a lot better for me if I just had the roar on this set. This might beat me out right. I should have brought Roar on this set. This might just beat me out right. I don't know how to beat this. I think he wins. Do I have any answer to this? Do I have any answer to this? He can continually bulk up and beat me right now. Man, not packing Roar is going to actually be how I lose this match. How could I not pack Roar? I I didn't want to give up Rapid Spin on this set. Right? And I felt like I needed Earthquake for the Coco. I needed Ice Shard uh, for a little bit of priority. 
like like and stuff for the Latias. I felt like I needed to play rough to be able to hit this thing, and I didn't want to give up rapid spin, so it was just I didn't find the slot for Roar, but not having Roar is gonna lose me this match. He's just gonna bulk up indefinitely and probably as Roost, almost definitely as Roost. And I'm probably gonna miss before I crit. It probably has Drain Punch, which is going to be even worse. A Drain Punch, Acrobatics. I don't win this. I want to run right now, honestly. He's giving me a chance to crit, but I'm going to tell him GG, man. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't beat this at all. I'm really disappointed. I was in such a fantastic position to win this. I was in such a fantastic position to win this. He's up plus two. The only hope that I have is if Gavangela can take a hit by Gav... Galvantula potentially takes a hit if I didn't take so much damage earlier in the match. I actually potentially take a hit. But not anymore. I don't have any chance of winning this match. I want to just run, honestly, but uh, I shouldn't. Um, if there's any way that I take this, then... I don't know. I'm really upset by this. I guess crit bullet punch is my only chance at this point. I did what I could, man. All I needed was roar, and I actually win this matchup. But bulk up was so unexpected to me. I did not expect bulk up. I think, yeah, it, I expected just a, a regular Swords Anti Lucha. And any set that's not just bulk up here, and I can win this. Goes for the Drain Punch. I, 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 I don't think I was outplayed. I, I don't. I 100% do not think that I was outplayed. I was just. I just should have brought Roar. I just should have brought Roar. I'm going to collect Flare Blitz, and that's going to be the match. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back really, really soon with a with uh, the APA Academy playoffs, which hopefully I don't mess up as bad as this matchup. But uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, yeah, we'll have the... We'll have the uh, UBL and the PGBL coming up really, really soon, as well as an upcoming League War, um, which I think should be announced by the time this comes out. But uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, out.